Good day, YouTubers. People all apart here. Thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog for you today. It's been drizzling. The grass is starting to grow again. We've been a couple of weeks without having to cut. But now that the rain comes, I'll bet you I'll be out here cutting by this weekend. Hadn't did much lately. Today I made a Harbor Freight run. I thought I'd share that with you a little bit. I'll put on my GoPro here and we'll thumb through some of the goodies I bought. I got two bags full of junk. I spent uh, around $70, I think. And didn't buy a little or nothing for that amount of money. But I sure had a good time looking around Harbor Freight. I was mighty tempted to buy some high dollar stuff. Now let's, let's take a look at what I bought here. Maybe some of you'll find of interest. And uh, well, I can talk about some of it. I bought these little wrench holders. I'm having trouble sorting my tools. I've got um, several toolboxes around here. I've got some in the basement, I've got some in the workshop. I got some in the garage, and every one of them tool just gets moved from one box to the other, depending on where I use them. I thought about buying one of them big old huge two boxes, but I, I don't think I use tools often enough to spend seven or eight hundred dollars for a big tool box. They sure got some nice ones over there though. So I bought two of these little wrench holder doflunkers. We'll look through them with my GoPro. I bought uh, some socket holders. You can spend, oh I know, an hour thumbing through two boxes just trying to find a 3 8 inch socket. They get mixed up. Not only have I got several different sets of half inch and quarter inch drive sockets, they're all jumbled up and mixed together. That's the most aggravating thing about using the tool is finding it. So I've got a major tool sorting to do. I'll put that on my list of projects and things to do. Let's take a look at what I bought today. These are fairly inexpensive little tool holders. But if it works, it's all I need. Something inexpensive. I bought, let's see, which bag are we going through first? some of these little defunkers to sort my sockets. Um, half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch drive. I guess you can mount them on a wall, whether I mount them and install them on a wall or just put all my sockets on there and throw them back in the toolbox. At least I'll have them collected together where I need them. These were like 99 cents a piece and they might not be worth a flip. They got some magnetic ones down there. I'm not paying $17, $18 for I didn't think it was worth that for just some plastic looking thing with a magnet on the back of it. What else did I buy? Look in the bag, Walter. Drift pin punches, long punch set, five piece. You don't often use it, need a drift pin punch, but when you need it, you need it. I'll get plenty of use out of that. I bought a couple of air chucks. Although I didn't need them, I bought them anyway. All right, that's all in that bag. When I get in the Harbor Freight, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I like shopping. I spend a good hour and a half just walking around looking. Seen a railroad co-worker in there and talked to him for a while. That's another wrench set. I bought this set of extensions. I think it wasn't that long ago when I had needed an extension and went through a half a dozen boxes and couldn't find them. 
I've been known to use my extensions for a punch and get them all boogered up. That's pretty good assortment of extensions right there. Got some quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, and half inch drive. And you can always use some extensions. And these Pittsburgh tools, are fair, you know, they're not high dollar tools, but they make pretty good tools. Got a flashlight, it was free with a coupon. Little thing don't look like much, but it puts out a pretty good light. Got a magnet on the back of it. You could stick it up under the hood of your car if you're working on a motor or something. I don't think these batteries they sell are much count, but they had a coupon for them. So I got some batteries. Mostly, like I say, I was just having fun looking around. Got me another pack of cutoff wheels. Seems like every time I go down there, I buy more cutoff wheels. I got a project in mind, and while I'm talking about it, I might as well mention it. Out here under my back deck, last year we put new tires on the boat. I watched a video on YouTube about making flower pots out of tires. Well, I got them three old tires we took off the boat trailer still on the rim, and I got an idea I can cut one of them and flip it inside out and make me a planter out of it. It's worth a shot. We'll make a little video about it when I do it. It might not sound like much, but it's just something to be doing. And uh, I'll be doing that pretty soon. I've got some plumbing I need to do around the house here. I'm gonna put that off for a little while too. Gotta get it done before winter time though. Um, not a whole lot's been going on. Until now, it's been super hot around here. It's nice out here today. Anyway, I thought I'd share my little Harbor Freight run with you. This is P. Walpar. That's all I got for now. Y'all take care. This is P. Walpar saying have a nice day.